Initially, did Susan work? No. And thank God for the National Association of Women. They fixed that. Now monitored the show. And they did it. They did it really right. They didn't come in with placards and banners. and They came in with statistics. <laughs> Susan um, serves milk and cookies 10 times. She never initiates an idea. I was marginalized as a woman, not, not as a black woman, just as a woman. There were three guys and me, Mr. Hooper, Bob, Gordon, and Susan. And I was always in the window. I was doing like Molly Goldberg without the accent. I don't know. I was always in the window looking out the window. <laughs> I wasn't even allowed out of the house. I don't know. But um, they said, you know, the show has such a potential for role modeling. Could we give Susan a more expanded role? They did for me what I couldn't do for myself. As an actor, I would have just gotten fired. You, you come and I want more lines. <laughs> yeah, right. Next, I'd be back in the corner waiting for the guitar players to stop playing. But they came and they had a meeting. And it was very interesting because the show didn't reflect this company. Our boss was a woman, Joan Gans Cooney. The lawyer was a woman. Evelyn Payne Davis was a vice president. Woman, you know. But the show didn't reflect that. So they sat down. And Susan did not ask permission to go to work. She sat down and she had a conversation with her husband about having this degree in nursing and she felt like she was wasting her degree and she needed to go back to work. I did not have to ask permission. So that's what happened. So I became a, a public health nurse. <laughs>